Well, hello, and welcome to Amberley, or more specifically, Amberley Museum, which is like a living museum that celebrates the industrial heritage of the area. It's been built into an old chalk quarry, and it's a pretty extensive place, like it's got all sorts to see, all sorts to do, but today we're going to be looking at three specific areas. Firstly, we're going to be exploring the Railway Exhibition Hall, then the Electricity Section, and finally, the connected earth section. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with the exhibition hall, the railway exhibition hall, up these stairs. And straight away, this is the most awesome rail based thing that there ever has been. I used to have this when I was a kid. Shall I just leave you here? Did you used to have this when you were a little boy? It does. So I was just like zipping them down here, like down the hills, like over the bumps. Yeah, everyone had this when they were a kid. This is all well and good. Oh look, there's a drawbridge right there. Tell you the bit that annoys me most. This. They're, they're not, they're not connected as they should be. That would have annoyed me as a child, and it annoys me now. Tree on the track. Anywho, moving on, let's look at some actual, like, train stuff. Apparently this was a post office, underground, railway, delivery system kind of thing. So they stick letters and parcels and all that good stuff in there, then run it underground, on a little underground network, and send post around. That's a good idea. Tenor says that the amount of deliveries that I get in a month could fill one of those entire carts. <laughs> Big time. Quite easily. Then there's like a train thing here that can carry a tank. Hey Lauren, do you know what this train is? Oh, it's oh. Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too funny for my own good. <laughs> it turns out that it was used for artillery training, moving artillery training, <laughs> training. So it's not actually Thomas the Tank Engine, but if they were clever, that's what they call it, because that's what I call it. Possibly the most exciting name for a wagon that I've ever heard, the Art Treasure Wagon. Look, there's some art in there. In fact, not just normal art, treasure art. It turns out that they did actually transport art and treasure and stuff during World War II. They'd stick them on a big old train like this, transport it somewhere safe, so Hitler couldn't steal it. We've got some more like coal wagons. There's an, there's a, a what? Slate wagons. Sars? A slate wagon? That's a slate wagon. Then there's like a, I don't know what this is. I know, I'll let you off that one in the coal one. What? That's a coal one, that's a slate one. That one's a coal one. That's a, one. That one's a, one. That's a slate one. And this is a seating thing here. Although it says 10 persons, no standing. One, two, three, four, five. That means two people per row. You can get three people in there at a push. I could. I'm not being funny, but they're not maximising space here. Like, look at that. There's some leg room. There's some absolute leg room there. Unless this is first class, and then if we go to the next one, this one's like <laughs> cattle class. Because there's not much leg room there. Lauren, I don't want you to get all overexcited and rowdy, but there's a cart full of railway train magazines. Are you excited? Uh, yeah. What's not exciting about Peckett's B2 lands? Or the realm of St. William? This is like railway porn. Some people like to travel first class. Some people don't mind traveling second class. Me, I like traveling fire class. What's in there though? I don't know, it's locked. Fire, I assume, it's just, just fire in there. My bad, it's a military wagon from the Royal Navy. This is more Lawrence Speed. Look at this yellow beast. This is known as the polar bear. Not the Polar Express, because copyright. The Polar Express. 
Hats. Oh, hang on. I'm a train driver. Look at that. In fact, I'm a, what does it say? Engine driver. I'm an engine driver. Also, I've just seen something very suggestive. Put coal in here. Get away! Get away! You think that's bad? Look at the state of that. Yeah. Danger. Do not touch the live rail. Don't tell me what to do. I did it. I think that we've milked this uh, this train railway section for all it's worth, so let's move on to the next one. The next building is the electricity building. And it is open for business. Look at this as I walked inside. It's that Sinclair C5 car, bike, thing. I don't even know how you'd describe it. Personal transport powered by electricity, no license, no insurance, no road tax required. One overnight charge takes you up to 20 miles. <laughs> Look at this little yellow beast of an electric car. And then on top of it, something that Lauren's going to be saying quite a lot in a few years time. I'm over 40 and very fragile. Look at this old school computerage. That's even bigger than my laptop. We start on the right of what we call the Jacob's Ladder, so it's about 50,000 volts derived from the mains through a transformer. And you get a nice big spark. Mm. It breaks down the air, gets hot, mm. so it rises to the top, and when the gap's too much to sustain the spark, you get a new one at the bottom. Oh. Okay. That was awesome. Anyway, due to limited timeage, we're going to have to move on to the next uh, building. But this one was fun. This one, I learnt science things. Warren, go and touch the electricity box. Touch it. Why? Touch it. Go on, touch it. I dare you. No. Ten pound. Nope. I'ma touch it. I'ma touch it. Bang! Oh, Told you I was fine. Anyway, the last building is the connected earth building how communication shapes the world founded by BT not to be confused with ET and outside this building you've even got like a massive satellite radar dish type thing that huge Lauren for scale see big so Lauren disappeared up some stairs I'm like what are you doing she's like I'm looking down here into this little room down there but then I instantly found it hilarious because Lauren is looking into a manhole do you enjoy the manhole Lauren? give up the, uh, the pump action manhole grow up I like the colour of this little van also in an emergency you need a phone at home for details ring that number look at him you don't trust that face. Eh. Up next is a telecom little booth thing. You are such a creep. <laughs> move, move. It's that you could sit on a movie. Oh, yeah, there no. it is. It is that. It's the manhole. That's where Lauren was looking down into the manhole. And now, Lauren, lean across. Now she's stuck her head in the manhole. <laughs> yeah. Ha. Uh -huh. 
Look at this cursed phone hider. You hide it under a massive dress. That is awful. That's horrible. I used to have one of those. Fairly sure I had one of those. Oh, I definitely had one of those. They were awesome. I feel like I had that one. This one? This flippy Motorola one, yeah. Yeah. And remember, that. Remember, uh, mine oh. was um, orange and black. You loser. Oh, I had one of those as well. Uh, oh, yeah, I might, that might have been mine actually, not that one. <laughs> oh, do that again. What a bell end. <laughs> post office telephones. What did the post office have to do with telephones? Oh, it's got a thing attached to the back as well. I think it's attached. It's not attached. Still though, look, a Royal Mail wagony thing. So much communication information. That guy. Look at him, that boy's rocking a hands free kit. He's got a little trumpet attached there. He's got his headphones banged on. He's living in the year 2030. Oh, okay, that's enough of that. That's, oh, oh, I nearly <laughs> fell over. <laughs> Keep that in. That was nearly a bad end. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there was a little overview of a section of, where are we? Amberley Museum. Amberley Museum. That was a good little section, three little huts. It good was section. actually, that was really good down here. So, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, we're going to get gone. So we'll see you guys next time.